Watford were on a dreadful run as they came up against Middlesbrough. They'd lost five league games in a row and started badly here again, going behind after only two and a half minutes. Pani claimed the credit, but the replay showed that Mark Williams headed into his own net. Watford's defence then presented a second goal to Barra 16 minutes later, gratefully accepted by Juninho. The Brazilian's goal a few weeks back knocked Watford out of the Worthington League Cup. He and Christian Seeger capitalising on a poor throwout by Alex Chamberlain and Mika Hyde's poor control. But Hyde nearly made up for his error. He came close to pulling a goal back here. Hyde making Burroughs keeper Mark Schwarzer dive at full stretch to save superbly. There seemed no way back for Watford, who trailed 2-0 at half-time. But 19-year-old Tommy Smith breathed new life into the Hornets with an excellent individual goal eight minutes after the restart. It was the teenager's first start of the season, and he justified Graham Taylor's faith with that memorable solo effort. The goal brought Watford back into the game and they may well have equalised. Smith had a shot blocked and Nordin Wouter's shot was turned round by Schwarzer's foot. As Watford pushed forward more and more, they left themselves exposed at the back though. And Borough took advantage with a third goal seven minutes from time. Paul Ince getting the final touch. The move began in the Borough half. Seeger and Dean interchanging passes before Alan Armstrong crossed for Ince to score. It wasn't a classic finish, but it was decisive. Watford won, Middlesbrough three. I thought we played very well in the first half. We uh, dominated, but um, you know Watford came back and when they got they got the goal, um, you know we give the ball away far too much for a 15-20 minute period there. Uh, so it was pleasing to see the third goal going.